All right, we have our step generator generating a 500 microsecond per division um, 10 step trace, which it does uh, on a scope right now. The scope is set to one millisecond per division, so it has twice as much time on the scope than what we provide in, in drawing the line. So what happens is we draw a 10 steps in one direction um, going uh, twice as fast as the scope does and then we change directions and we go 10 steps up again we create our pyramid uh, I have it locked in right now so we see the the lowest step of the pyramid in the middle and the highest steps on the edge this uh, uh, calibrator mechanism provides 3 volts peak to peak right now the lowest step represents the 0 volt line and the highest step represents 3 volts we're on 0.5 volts per division, and uh, with 3 volts peak to peak and 10 steps, that's 0.3 volts in between. And with 0.5 division per division, I see uh, 0.123. I see I'm on the line there. That's one and a half volts, and uh, I have one, two, three, four, five steps times 0.3 volts is one and a half volts. So one and a half should be on that line, and it is. 3 volts should be on the on the sixth line up above, and it is. 0 is where it belongs. And then we see the whole thing repeat again. 0, 1 and a half, 3. So uh, if we see that we hold this same uh, relative position as we raise our scope and our um, calibrator's speed, then uh, we are holding our calibration and demonstrating frequency response to it. And, and if we don't dip, then we know we've got good frequency response and, and our calibration is good. So let's give it a try here. Right now we are on 1 millisecond per division. We are going to go to 0.5 milliseconds per division. I now only see the 10 steps, but I'm going to raise this to 200 uh, microseconds per division. Um, and once again, we see zero, one and a half, three volts. Zero, one and a half, three volts. We've held. Let's go ahead and raise her up again. Raise the calibrator. Center ourselves. Zero, one and a half, three. Zero, one and a half, three. Up again. Zero, one and a half, three, zero, one and a half, three. We are now at 50 microseconds per division on the scope. Going to, going to 20 right now. Okay. Zero, one and a half, three. Zero, one and a half, three. Going to 10. Zero, one and a half, three. Zero, one and a half, three. Going to five. Zero, one and a half, three. Zero, one and a half, three. Okay, let's just change our. Yeah, I guess I got to do it this way. Zero, one and a half, three. Zero, one and a half, three again. Going to one microsecond per division. We're now getting to the, actually the limit of the calibrator, but we still can see it. Zero, one and a half, three. Zero, one and a half, three. And finally the last position. And we see zero, one and a half, and three once again in our last step. And it's also this fast as the calibrator will display us. So luckily we're at the end of the trace. So what we see is that we still have linearity. We are, are still providing a linear scale from zero to maximum with the halfway point showing the way it needs to be. So we've held linearity over the frequency range of the scope. And, uh, and we have a calibrated radical that can tell us that that's 3 volts, which is it's predicting that because it's 0.5 volts per division. Once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 0.5 is 3 volts. 
And that is the output of the uh, the generator, three volts.